the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Indianapolis Colts. And it's coming up next. From the crossroads of America, we're at the center of Indianapolis, Indiana, as we get a look here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they've definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. The punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, has it teed up and ready to go. And here we go from Indy. Ty Johnson now to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, into stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to, and just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with a pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. It's complete to Holland. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Play action now. Allen, rushed out of the pocket. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. Pass into the hands of Dalton Kincaid. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Gets this to Kincaid. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. First turn of the game for James Cook. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. The rookie out of UCLA in on the stop. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Second and 12 behind the sticks. A quick slant here into the hands of Cooper. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Defender's not going to be thrilled. The catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch. 
The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. This from 48 on the left hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. It depends on the kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Bass now to kick this away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So out come the Colts for their first offensive possession. And leading them out, the comeback player of the year after reviving his career late last season, Joe Flacco. One of the things I think we all love about the NFL is sometimes you just can't even write the scripts. And sometimes you get stories like Joe Flacco last year on his couch, all but retired, and he gets a call from the injury plague Browns, and all he does is go 4-1, and one, take the team to the playoffs, and oh, by the way, win NFL Comeback Player of the Year. The guy can still sling it. Pittman, the man in motion left. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. Only took him one play, partner, and they've already made it to that 40-yard line. They go play action on first. That's brought in. It's his back, Jonathan Taylor. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go. Shotgun, hand off to Taylor. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Tackled on the play by Taylor Rapp. Okay, that's a run that's ho-hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. So now here's third and five. He'll look to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. New set of downs for him from the 46. To the air now on first and 10. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Christian Benford has it. Up play from the linebacker there to take a short, innocent pass and just turn it into a major highlight for him and his guys. And I know people are watching that going, how in the world the quarterback not see that linebacker? Yeah. But sometimes, Kate, your focus is so much on the safeties, the nickel, the corner. You just take for granted you could fit that ball in. And that linebacker said, not on my watch. <laughs> Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Rams go up 10 zip here in the first.
A quick chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. They're out and set, first and ten. Option give to Taylor. And he gets him around six there. Christian Benford up to make that stop. Give him around six, that's gonna make it second and four. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know, and you may come back to. Because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. This one falls incomplete. Looking for Michael Pittman Jr. on that throw. And now they need to get four on third down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Shotgun now on third down. He has the first over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. They get six and a first down as well. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Play action on first down. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. He'll throw it yet again. That one finds Josh Downs. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. He picks up 15 on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll throw it again. Has him on the quick hitter. He's got to gain a six there. Christian Benford up to make that stop. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Second and four. And he works this to the 38 before going down. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Taylor again. Stiff arm success. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run, but I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Going to the ground again on first. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 21. To the right and reeled in by Downs. And this is down all the way to the three. They'll have 
first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Going jumbo set on this first and goal. Taylor. Can't fight past that line. They stop him at the three. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, they did the job on first down. More to come. On second and a few. Into the end zone, but someone's able to knock it away. That's incomplete. Well, the QB right there, he put it pretty close to the sidelines to begin with. And the defender, well, that was a nice job. Just simply put a hand out there, and let me just encourage the ball to fall incomplete. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. He's going to throw this one. Oh, put way too much on that one, Brock. Over the end zone and out. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. Fourth down's going to bring out Matt Gay and the Colts field goal unit for the first time. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Johnson now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Finds Kincaid. And that's good for a gain of five. Kenny Moore there to make the stop. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. They'll send him over right. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he's brought down for a loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? It did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Here's Allen. That's caught for the first. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Throwing now on first down, Allen. This is complete to Dawson Knox. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. On first down, Allen. This throw is caught. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. 
It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Cook scores. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills grow their early lead to 13. It's a James Cook touchdown. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Bass on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills double their lead to 14. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They'll come out throwing. Short pass brought in. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, Taylor. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and 10. Throwing now, off play action. Oh, it put some heat on this deep. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. First and 10 after that last highlights. They're at the 30. Cut out left. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Throwing the out route complete. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Taylor goes up and over for the touchdown. The Colts lower the deficit to a single possession. It's a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. 
It's how you finish. That one right down the middle. And the Colts chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Starting from the five. And he's gonna make this to the 28 before going down. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They send Hollins in motion right. First down throw for Allen. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Now the shotgun give to Cook. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. Zaire Franklin there to make the tackle. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, but gets the better defenses in this league. Running back sent in motion. Allen on third down. That's Kincaid with a catch out left. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Complete, it's Cooper. And he's going to be touched down about three yards shy of the marker. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. And time runs out before they get the snap off. That's the end of one. Neither side separating much so far. We'll take a brief pause and head back to Lucas Oil Stadium after this. We're back for the second quarter. Bills in possession of the football. They start out with a second and three. From the shotgun, it's Allen. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Allen gonna throw again. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. All right, set now. First and ten. To the air again, Allen. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone, incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one, Kate. 
Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back on track. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. Award that tackle to the effort of Leatu Latu. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Throwing from the gun here. Pass cut, nine yard line. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the nine. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine, because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And he won't win the race to the outside. That one's bottled up at the line. No gain that time, and now it'll be second and goal. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Still set up at the nine. It's second and goal. He and he barrels across for the touchdown. The Bills take a 13-point lead. Josh Allen, the touchdown. They broke out the design run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, hey, QB, do your thing. Get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra yeah. number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. Bass gets the extra point to go. And the Rams double their lead to 14. Bass now to kick this away. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Taylor now up the middle. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. They go again with Taylor. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. All I could tell him there was good luck. <laughs> you get a safety all over a run like that, they could just smell it like a shark with blood in the water. And you feel fortunate if you're even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Drive in dire straits, it's third and nine. They're throwing it! Incomplete for now. It brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty flag is all about. Tempting to perhaps take the yards and run third down again, partner. But they decline it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Colt's going to kick this away now on fourth, and it's Rigoberto Sanchez on for the punt. And 
And that fair catch brought in just beyond the 30-yard line. No return on that punt. And the Bills will take over possession. Ball at the 33 for first down. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Shakir sent in motion left. Here's second and two. He's got Khalil Shakir. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Pick up a five on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Allen now on first down. Gets this to Kincaid. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. Brought down by Julian Blackman. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second down now, seven to go. Allen looking to throw. Completed over the middle. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. They'll run it with Cook. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline in his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. It is caught left side. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Kenny Moore there to make the stop. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Receiver in motion, headed right. Allen on third and short. He has the first over the middle. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. They're now set for first and ten. Throwing here, Allen. Hits him on the out route. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Here's a give to Cook. And he'll get them enough for a first down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. A new set of downs awaits them. Here's first and ten. Here's Allen. Brought in by Hollins. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. 
That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Now it's Cook. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Third and a lone yard coming up. Allen setting up to throw. This throw is cut. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that picks up a first and goal. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Might be trying to power this across, Brock. They've got three tight ends out there. It's first and goal. Now Allen. Looking end zone, but touchdown denied. Knocked away, incomplete. Boy, take a look at that. Look at him locking down his area of the end zone. They could bring it in close enough to take shots, but there are no easy touchdowns. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Let's come in here. Allen looking touchdown, but can't connect. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is if he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. So now, here's third and goal. To throw again, it's Allen. Bails out of the pocket, and he carries it in for the touchdown. The Bills stretch their lead to a three-score advantage. Josh Allen, the touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that could create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Extra point up and good from Bass. And the Bills stretch their lead to 21. Bass now to kick this away. Josh Downs to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. They're out and set. First and ten. Straight ahead with Taylor. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Second down carry for Taylor. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Give him only a couple that time. It's going to be third down. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Third down from the gun. 
Takes the grab in bounds, left side. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now a run with Taylor. He's descended upon quickly and dropped after it looks like a yard gain. Daquan Jones with a tackle on that play. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. This is Taylor. And they had that one contained right at the line. That's A.J. Epinesa on the tackle. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and 10. Setting up a throw. Taylor makes the catch. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. Another punt coming up for Rigoberto Sanchez. And this will be his second effort of the contest. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. They kick the running back in motion. On first down, Allen. Outright, Cooper's got it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. They're set up at the 35 now. This is Cook on the handoff. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Second and 12 behind the sticks. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And things look tougher now with third and long. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Complete, it's Cooper. And he takes it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills making this a laugher before halftime. Amari Cooper, the touchdown. So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send nope. everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. 
And the Rams grow their lead yet again. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. A run here with Taylor. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. from the 36. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman Jr. So it's going to be third and short coming up. I don't fault the look downfield at all. I mean, that was just a situation there where it's a better defensive play than the offense executing. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Now a handoff to Taylor. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Give him three on that game. And it'll be first down, Colts. So we're at the two-minute warning here from Indy. The Colts pushing for points. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Pass play coming here. On target to his man, Taylor. Now about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Got to be a pretty good actor. Got to be pretty good at selling to that defense. Now that's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on the screen like that, boy, it's choreography by everybody on that offense. They've got first down from the 31. Back to throw. This one finds Taylor. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well, and it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 23. Throw left side, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Now we get a timeout from the Colts. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. He'll throw it yet again. He brings it in. He has the Indianapolis touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. to add the extra point. Get 
Right down the middle, it's good. And the Colts cut the lead by a quarter, down out of 21. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Johnson with a return here. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Bills headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he sure has put on that chef's hat to dice up their defense early in this one. Quite the appetizer that he's prepared to what could be a great overall performance. They'll get this drive started, first and 10. They've got a man in motion. Throwing now on first down, Allen finds Kincaid. And he's able to cross the 40 before going out. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Kate, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. They send Hollins in motion right. Allen now on first down. That'll be complete to Hollins. And he's tackled for a short game. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Second down now, seven to go. Motioning him from the slot right. From the 44 here on second down. Complete to Shakir. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. him down but that is a big gain and a new set of downs they rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal now just before the break a timeout taken by the offense and they can try for some points going into the break The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the advantage now sits at 24. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm than start a game two for two as a kicker. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Here comes the final play of our first half. Looking to throw. That one's 
cut along the left sideline. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills were led in the first half by their all-world quarterback, Josh Allen. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Bass now to kick this away. Returning it from the four. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Colts have running back Jonathan Taylor headed out with the rest of the offense. They get that big old marker out, cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Back to throw. Dumps it off to his running back. That defense, it'll give up that completion every time. They don't just like it, they love it. Because it creates a fun little race between everybody coming downhill to go make that tackle, and in this case, run him right out of bounds. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Looking for a throw here. Gets everything he has under this throw. That's grabbed inside the 30. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. You can't start a fire without a spark. Well, how about a lightning bolt? What a huge gain that totally changes the tone of the drive. So as we all recover from that last play, it's first and 10 near the red zone. Off the play fake, he'll throw. And this throw is knocked away, incomplete. Read and react, read and react, read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And you got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Takes off right out of the read option. And he won't salvage that, it's a loss on the play. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth, Kate, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another hit at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Here he is on third and long. He's trying to push the field. And that one's incomplete, pretty fortunately so. That was a big risk, nearly an end zone turnover. Instead, it brings up fourth down. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, he just couldn't quite hang on. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that lowers the lead to 21. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on a field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Come on. 
Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Bills are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. They're out and set. First and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Catch is made down the right sideline. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a massive 35-yard pickup. First down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Down inside the 40 now with a first down following that last play. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He goes back to him yet again, complete. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Kate, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, don't get me wrong, Kate. Every defensive guy, they watch tape in their own ways. But linebackers, well, they're a little bit like quarterbacks. They got to develop that sixth sense by watching that tape so they can diagnose and get home in a hurry like he just did. All plays on the table here for third and three. Looking to throw it this time. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Now Allen off the play action. And this one's up there, but a little too far up there. Couldn't connect with Amari Cooper. And now it's second down. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They send Hollins in motion right. Second down, Allen throwing again. Sideline throw complete to Cooper. And he gets this down inside the red zone before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Third and four coming up now. Slot man in motion left. To throw again, it's Allen. He has the first over the middle. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Now run by Cook. And hopefully a bit of a wake-up for their ground game. It's a solid pickup there on the play. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Again, it's Cook. And hopefully a bit of a wake-up for their ground game. It's a solid pickup there on the play. Call it four yards, and they're set up with a manageable third and two. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage. It sets up your play action. 
and it keeps that defense honest. Allen on third and two. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills push their lead further to start the half. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends. Made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. you got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. Bass on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills continue piling on to this lead. Bass now to kick this away. Downs on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Colts returning their offense and this running back to the field. And what we saw in the first half wasn't an anomaly, partner. They've kept throwing it to him as we work throughout the rest of this game, and the results have been just as good. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. It's an option right that begins this drive. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. They get an even ten on that play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. When they drop these plays for the quarterback, these are the type of results they're expecting, Kate. Something that could tear a hole in the defense, move the chains, and just as importantly, and maybe most importantly, put a seed of doubt and thought into that defensive mind that the QB can run at any time. He's got a man left. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Tackled on the play by Taylor Rapp. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Second and four. His quick throw knocked away incomplete. Trying to force one through there. And now they need to get four on third down. Any DB prefers a highlight real interception to just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized a pick wasn't possible on the play, well, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. Third down from the gun. Cover man is there, and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. Could not beat the defender there. And fourth and four coming up. You know, I don't fault that look at all, Kate, downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. Punter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Call that punt a 52-yard effort. And they'll get ready to go on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to pull this one down and run with it. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock, you know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. 
especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing he woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep him moving forward. Second and three now. Cook trying this one up the gut. The defenders are there to get him at the line. Brought down by Julian Blackman. Nothing gained or lost on that run. And now it's third and three. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Allen on third and short. That's caught for the first. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Ball at the 33 for first down. Back to throw now, Allen. This will be caught by Cooper. And he'll get it up to the 44. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you got to earn your place there. The easy way to do it, catches just like that, going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Slot man motioned over. Throwing now on first down. Allen connects with Cook. And he gets it through the midfield stripe and onto the Colts' side of the field. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. Second and three now. To the air again, Allen. Complete, it's Cooper. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. Now, after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Ball at the 33 for first down. They send a receiver in motion right. Again, Allen to the air. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Colts are stopped on the return just shy of their own 35. Going down the middle, as you can see, you're giving them a real chance at making that pick. Might be a case of trying to force one where he shouldn't have. And you're sure hoping as a quarterback you learn your lesson on that one. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. To the air now on first and 10. This one finds Taylor. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Let's call the quarterback's best friend, Kate. Games like that on the screen aren't possible without everyone doing their job. One missed assignment is the difference between a big gain and being dropped for a loss. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Option give to Taylor. And he's caught after a game of about two. DeMar Hamlin getting there for the tackle. He gets a couple, and it'll bring up third down. They're going to try to pick it up with an option left. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Mm, 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 mm. That is teaching tape for a linebacker. Read, react, and finish.
The Colts ready for the punt. Rigoberto Sanchez will kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And the fair catch secured here at the 16. The Bills offense all set for their next drive. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. I mean, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that followed. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Allen setting up play action. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Third down, one yard to go. Another one for Cook. And he's going nowhere there. Add that to what's been a tough afternoon for him. They stop him just short and force a fourth and one. These big D tackles in this league, they love weaponizing their size right in the middle of the field. It is so hard to clear lane against them. And once he got his paw on him, it was dead on arrival. So on fourth down, on comes Sam Martin to handle the punt for the Bills. And hey, at least he held onto the football, but they will get nothing on that return. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Colts will take over. They're set up at the 35 now. On the counter, it's Taylor. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually, you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They go again with Taylor. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. DeMar Hamlin getting there for the tackle. Now, after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Pass play now. He puts some power on a deep one left. He's got it inside the 25. All the way. Touchdown, Indy. The Colts shrinking the lead some in the third. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Gay to add the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Colts cut the lead by a quarter. Down now to 21.
Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Has this at the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The visitors ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Kate, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And all that for a single yard. What an effort to get what he could there. They pick up a yard. Still need one more, though. Third down coming up. They'll run it with Cook. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. This is Cook. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Going to the ground again on first. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Kid, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late, great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S, because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that for a tackle for loss. Here's second and 11. That finds his man. It's Keon Coleman. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Third and just two to go. Play action now. Allen. Brought in by Hollins. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. This is the end of the third quarter. It's the Bills football, and they can pretty well cruise the rest of the way. Offense set for a first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Bails out of the pocket quick. And he's brought down after a short game. It's one of those situations, not much to be had there, no matter what he did with the ball. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win and a confidence builder for this defense. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's a give to Cook. And he cannot shake the tackler along the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and that brings up third and nine. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say there's just times you got to run into darkness. 
And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Man in motion here. Allen on third down. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. So that brings up fourth and long. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharpshooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the advantage now sits at 24. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Bass now to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. They're out and set. First and ten. Airing it out to start this drive. Has him on the quick hitter. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. Second and six coming up here. From the 28. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes them back, third down, coming up. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? They built this type of lead for themselves because that's actually, Kate, their first sack of the game. And that's why smart front offices and complete teams build a well-rounded roster. That way, if a core component like the pass rush today isn't there, well, the other areas of the team pick each other up. Got to figure out this third down here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And it'll be first down, Colts. They'll throw it. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Throwing from the gun. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done. Incomplete. You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. Teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of the passing game, who can make plays on the ball, too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swat that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. 
You know, Kate, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. New set of downs for him from the 46. Here's Cook. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. The one thing I could say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now it's Cook. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good for a Bills first down. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They put a receiver in motion here left. Now Allen going to the air. Working the sideline. That's Coleman. And he's out of bounds just short of the 30. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. They'll throw on third and long. That throw's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down coming up. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. Ball spotted on the left hash, 49 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that grows the lead to 27. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Bass now to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing. A throw right side finds Pittman. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Options are open here. It's second and inches. From the 37. Finds his man, Downs. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Now they'll throw out of the gun. That's complete to Pittman. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, 
and it was nearly a big play. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 48. Hauled in by Downs. And he works this to the 38 before going down. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Throwing it again here. On target to Downs. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you could find a completion just like that. Finds him on the crossing route. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Taylor now up the middle. And he pushes them a little closer to the three. Only manages one yard on that run, so now they'll need three on third and goal. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. And he will score! Touchdown, Indianapolis! The Colts making the scoreboard look a touch better. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Gay to add the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Colts still have a lot of work to do, Brock. It's a 20-point difference now. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. This return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. This is Cook on the handoff. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. Another carry for him. 
And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Hand off, head and right. It's Cook. He'll get this down to the 40. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Complete to Shakir. And they get this down to the 28. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. On first down, Allen. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. That's one he knows he should have had. And now they face second down. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Man in motion headed right. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. There's a man there, it's intercepted! Picked off, Zaire Franklin! And the Colts are gonna return this up beyond the 20 before being tackled. Well, obviously not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you gotta go get it in that next series. Gotta put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing from the gun here. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU. But as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Dropping back to throw. Pittman's got it. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century, and it's a play that works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. Working quickly here. Looking to throw on third and one. Cover man is there, and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. Great defensive effort to reject that one. And it's fourth and short. We'll see if they go for it. The ability to track the ball. Right, ball skills isn't just knocking it away, and that's a beautiful job there, Kate. But ball skills is also being able to track a ball on a deeper throw like that. If he doesn't swat it away, we're looking at a huge game. He finds him beyond the marker. It's an 11-yard gain to back up the considerable gamble there on fourth down, and they move those chains. I love those moments of truth. We get to see exactly how they handle it when all the pressure that drives right on them. Turns out, handled it pretty darn well, and now they'll keep pushing on. They'll throw it again. To the right, reeled in by Downs. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk, and there was nearly room to add even more. Offense in the hurry up here.
from the 47. This is reeled in by Pittman. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. They gain 14 on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. You know, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Complete out to the right side. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it'll be first down, Colts. He'll throw it yet again. And the man is there to knock that away. And you ask a lot of your defenders on that field. It is not easy to play defense in today's NFL. Not only stay in their assignments hip pocket, but to make plays on the ball as it arrives. He was challenged with an intermediate throw, and he swatted it away with ease. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They are throwing it again. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Well, good luck stopping the big fella that close to the goal line, Brock. I've always thought that the distance right there is just made for tight ends to score touchdowns. Yeah, and it's not just the sport that you also love to cover in basketball. <laughs> it's all about matchups. You get near the red zone and into the end zone, matchups become critical. And when you got a dude like this that's a mismatch maker, you feed him. Gay to add the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Colts drop the lead back to 13. Down two scores, and with two timeouts left, this onside recovery is a must-get for them. And the Bills are able to secure this kick. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Hey, the numbers don't lie. The numbers tell you, Kate, time and again, it is so hard to recover these onside kicks. And when you got an opponent prepared for it, well, that makes it even more difficult. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Now run by Cook. And he gets up for a gain of about four. Timeout Indianapolis. That's its second. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. the play reaches the 26. The Colts take a timeout. That's their last one. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first.
Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to tick down. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Second down, probably going to see him kneel it again here. Cook trying this one up the gut. And they make the play at the 23, a gain of only a little. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Setting up for the kneel down on third. He goes to a knee. His time winds down in this one. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So the Bills fight their way to a win on the road. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. And that does it for another broadcast of the NFL on EA Sports. With my partner in the booth, Brock Heuer, I'm Kate Scott. It's a win for the Bills, as we say so long from Indy. Let's go!